In this video, I will show you how to do instrumental variables in R. Before watching it, please watch my other two videos on instrumental variables and instrumental variables example. I have opened up here the R program in R Studio and I have already executed it. And you can download the program and the data from my website and follow along. And this is the data set that we will be using today. And it's on medical expenses. And we want to see what factors affect uh, the log of medical expenses, which is a variable that we have down here for the log of medical expenses. And we would use whether or not people have health insurance as the um, endogenous variable here. And we would have several exogenous variables including age and number of illnesses and also the log income. We would use this um, variable here for the log income as far as the um, exogenous variables. Okay, so back to the program. We would be using two packages, uh, so install them and load them in the library. The packages would be AER and system fit. We would be reading the data set IV underscore health and we would be attaching it. Now we're defining here the variables. In this case, Y1 would be the dependent variable that's log medical expense for me. And this would be the endogenous variable health insurance the three exogenous variables and then we would use X2 as an instrument for social security income ratio and then we would use an alternative instrument of social security income ratio and firm location uh, in, in some of the estimation. So go ahead and uh, define these for your um, for your study and then the rest of the program should work for you. The first thing to do is look at some summary statistics and these are our dependent variable y1 and then the uh, endogenous variable and then we have all the exogenous ones here and that would be our instrument. And we could estimate OLS regression using the linear model. This is again the dependent variable. We have the endogenous one and all of the exogenous ones. And here are the results that we have from the OLS regression. And the way we, we would interpret this coefficient here is that for a one unit increase in Y2, we would have that many units increase in Y1, which is our dependent variable. So if someone has health insurance, they would have uh, 7.5 percent more in medical expenses that variable was measured in logs for us so that's how we interpret this coefficient here that we have and the rest is like normal interpretation of an OLS model so now how do we do a two-stage least square estimation we can do it uh, by using the IV reg and we would put the dependent variable here and we would have the endogenous variable here and the exogenous ones. And here would be the instrument. So X1 would be the instrument for itself. And here X2, we would ha really have the instruments here. And this would be the results here. So instead of basically using Y2, we would be using the predicted values from the first step equation. So notice how this this coefficient now is very different. Before it was positive and significant, now it's negative and significant. So those that have health insurance would have uh, close to 85% lower uh, medical expenses. So it changed. If you want to see in more details how the two step, uh, the two stage least square estimation is done, we, we can do it the slow way. And this is exactly the same as what we have here. So we could estimate the linear model of Y2, our endogenous variable, on the X1, which is the um, exogenous regressors, 
and the instruments we would get and then we would get the fitted values or the predicted values as y2 hat from here and now in the second step in, instead of having y1 on y2 and x1 we would have y2 hat so that's exactly what we're doing you see like here the all less regression we have y2 we're doing exactly the same thing except that we are replacing it here with the predicted values that are coming from this model of using the instruments that don't belong in this equation. And if you can see these results that we have here are exactly the same as the results that we had before and interpreted. So that's the slow way of doing it. The next thing that we can do is we can have a two-stage least square estimation where we have over-identified case. And in this case, instead of just having one instrument for the one endogenous variable that we have, like here, we would have that alternative list where we have two instruments for the one endogenous variable. And in this case, that first step that we have right here we would just plug more instruments and but there's not much difference in the estimation procedure okay so these are the results here and we could see that this coefficient here got just a little bit more negative it was minus 0.85 before and now it's minus 0.96 uh, so that was the effect of including two instrumental variables instead of one um, and that's again in in our case Next thing that we can do is do a Hausman test for endogeneity and what we're doing is we're comparing the coefficients from the IV regression and from the normal OLS regression. If they are very close to each other, this means we have exogeneity and no need to use in, in the, in instrumental variables. And if these coefficients are farther apart and the test is significant, this means that we have endogeneity and in this case, we want to use instrumental variables. So this is the Hausmann test here, and it just gives you the test, the p-value for the test statistic, and it's very low, it's less than 0.05. Therefore, we have significant test, and it means we have endogeneity, and we want to use uh, the IV uh, estimation. So the final thing to do here is, what if we don't have just one equation? What if we have a system of equations? Now, we instead of just having medical expenses regressed on health insurance, we can have it the other way around as well. And in this case, we want to define uh, some, some variables x1 that are exogenous and that belong to the second equation. And I picked here illnesses. And we want to have instruments for the second step that are different than those for the first equation. And for me, that I will put here for a location. And so the first equation would be y1 regressed on y2, x1 and x2. That's exactly the same as we had before. But now we have this y2 that was endogenous here. Now that's the dependent variable. And this is now endogenous here. You see how they flip places? And we would have, this will be the exogenous variables for the second equation, and this is the instruments for the second equation. And again, the instruments are all of the um, exogenous variables, and we could also use the uh, instruments that we, we have here. And I may also include here the, uh, well, x12 is also in, in x1. So, um, but if, if you don't have the case where the um, exogenous variables overlap here, you may want to put both these and these in the, as instruments. So the system we would have the equation 1 would be this, and this would be the equation 2. So how do we do two-stage least square estimation here? Uh, we would use... Uh, system system fit and that would be the system that we're reading from up above here for two stage least squares instruments are instruments and we're reading the data that we have here and those are the results and 
these are the results that we have here and look at this coefficient now it's minus 1.67 so it's a little bit um, it's a little bit uh, lower that we had than than we had from before, but um, similar interpretation, and we of course have also the estimates for equation two, uh, which is reversing the dependent and endogenous variable. So notice now these are the three stage least square as estimates that we have here, and we have that coefficient here is minus one point fifty nine. So close, but not identical. I tried it before where I had exactly the same regressors here in both equations. I used x1 and I got identical results. So you may want to have different instruments and different, um, uh, or at least non, you know, some some of the exogenous variables to be different in order for these estimates to be different. But again, the syntax for these is um, very similar so just two stage least square and three stage least squares and in this one we also are exploring the cross equation information so if you want this program to run with your data all you have to do is change these variables here in the second equation with yours and then also change all of these variables with yours and it should run thank you for watching